Man, Terminator Zero, it's a Netflix animation show that's part of the whole Terminator universe, all right? There's no John, no John Connor, no Sarah Connor in this, and there's no Arnold Schwarzenegger in this, okay? They do reference them a bit, but that's all. Reference, they verbally reference them. But one would think, man, how can you make a good Terminator movie or a show without those characters? Well, they Terminator Zero pretty much shows show you how, how they do it, how they did it. I mean, this show here, like, the, the action was on point, man. Like, whenever you're doing something Terminator-related, the action has to be awesome. Um, There was a scene. They have a police scene in this movie here. Like, it reminds you of the police scene in the first one where you had Paul Winfield was the captain and Lance Herskin was in there, too. And um, they were trying to protect Sarah Connor. And then Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, the T-100, he comes in there and just sets it off up in that piece. Well, they have a scene like that that's similar to that. But in this one here is more detailed. Because, see, on that one, they didn't show all the kills. But on this one here, they show all the kills. All right? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to be a little minor spoiler warning. But it's like, hey, man, how do you, you know, how do you know if you're going to be interested in this show if I don't tell you just a little bit, okay? Like, this is one of those things that's like, hey, we all knew the Titanic was going to sink before you saw the movie. But when you saw it sink in the movie, was it a spoiler for you? Oh, you didn't know it was going to sink. Oh, so you didn't read the description or see the trailer or nothing. Okay. All right. Well, sometimes, you know, you got to pay attention to things. But anyways, all right. But um, the main character on here, his name is Malcolm. And he has three kids, and he also has a nanny. There's a secret about the nanny. I'm not going to tell you. You will find out. You will figure that out for yourself. He has a secret. There's a whole bunch of secrets going around in this movie, okay? And it's one of those movies. It's, um, I'm not going to say it's a mystery, but it's like you won't be able to put all the pieces together until the final episode. And it's only eight episodes. They're about... I think each episode was about, well, I think some of them was like 25 minutes and maybe a couple of them, one or two, about two of them was probably about 40 minutes. But I mean, it's well worth, worth watching. Okay. I mean, it, I was literally glued to the screen watching this, you know what I'm saying? And, um, let me see the, the Terminator in this one is dope. Um, the person who goes back in time, you know, you always got to have somebody that's part of the resistance that goes back in time. That person was dope. This one here is actually a female. So I think, yeah, this is the first time we get a female. Well, no, I take that back. In Terminator, was it Dark Faith? That's when um, we had a female who came back who was part of the resistance. But um, this one here, man, like it's, I don't think you're going to predict what's going to happen by the time you reach episode eight until you get into episode eight. All right. So real good story, the writers, the directors, the producers of this show, they did such a brilliant job, all right? The animation looks real, real cool. I'm no expert on it. I can only tell you what my eyes see, and my two eyes see some pretty good, well, forget pretty good, some awesome animation, all right? The dialogue was real cool, you know? So shout out to the voice actors. You know, we got to give these voice actors props, man, because it takes a lot to sell that role, to get people to buy into that role. And the voice that matters, the voice matters, people. That's why they have a show called The Voice. If the voice didn't matter, it wouldn't be a show called The Voice. But I definitely recommend this show. It's on Netflix, scale to 1 to 10. Man, shit, I'm going to give it a 9. I give it a nine. All right. Share your thoughts. And let me know. What do you think about Terminator Zero? Did you hate it or love it? Share your thoughts. I want to know. What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? All right. And what did you give it out of scale out of one to ten? Once again, thank you all for tuning in. Student of the Game Podcast. Peace out.